call me, the way you bring me close. The way you call me, the way you talk to me. The way you say you miss me, girl. Hold me, hold me. You give me, give me. What's up, guys? Welcome to our channel. What's up, you guys? It's living with the Littles. And I guess we're back at it. We're back at it. And we tried it before, you know, but um, we had a lot going on. So we uh, fell back and we're back at it again. Yeah, so this is our brand new channel, Living with the Littles. Um, vlogs, pranks, challenges, challenge videos. Um, and we'll we're, put the kids in it. Yeah, we're gonna kids. The kids, kids you know, we're gonna let the girls in on it. Honestly, the kids are like the number one reason I started this back because I was like, had put it off and then. Uh, they ask us all the time, like, yeah. why can't we vlog? Why can't we vlog? I mean, I guess, you know, they see all these other kids and their families doing it. So, um, I was like, hey, we can do it. If they can do it, we can do it, you know? Right, right, exactly. We have big dreams, um, things we want to do, things we want to see. And so, yeah, make sure you definitely subscribe. Um, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Today, we're going to do the boyfriend-girlfriend tag. Um, well, we actually... I don't have mine on. I, well, I had to take it off because I was washing dishes, but um, we're doing the wife and the husband tag. If you guys don't know what a tag is, basically it's me and him asking each other questions um, to see how well we know each other. We've been together for a decade now. Um, been married for five. Four. Has it been four? <laughs> yes. We just celebrated our fourth anniversary, yeah. married. Yeah. We have four kids, four girls. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Do you wanna go first or do you want me to go first? No matter, I go first. Well, look, rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah. That's you. So do you All wanna right. go first for me? I go first. Okay. All right. So, um, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Let's see how good she knows it. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, First question, have I ever broken a bone? Let's see, guys. No. Wait. I don't know if you've broken a bone, but I know you've dislocated your knee. Yeah, I, I, well, I, yeah, I never had a broken bone, but I've dislocated my wrist. Playing football my junior, my junior year. And, uh, and your knee, right? And I tore my ACL. Okay. My ACL. When I turned 21. What were you doing? I was with the guys getting, feeling good, celebrating. Oh, okay. And, okay. All right, so yeah, I'll give you that one. Um. <laughs> this question says, have I ever broken the law? Yes. I don't know if you got caught, but I know you've broken the law. I don't break the law. I just bend it. I'm not saying like, and I'm not saying that he's like does really bad things, but I know that if a cop saw him not wearing his seatbelt, that's breaking that's, the law. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I have my seatbelt on, but you know, sometimes I don't buckle it all the way because. That is a lie. You buckle it behind you so that you can listen to the music. Like, I tell him to buckle his seatbelt, you know, but, like, I will say you've gotten better over the years at buckling your seatbelt. Like, if he sees me do it, usually it triggers his brain to do it. We got kids. We can't. <laughs> I gotta go. We can't do anything, like, to, like, if we were to no, get I, a wreck. I set, we, a, I set a good example for my kids, though. I mean, I make sure they have theirs on, you know. And he can't really tell them they, to have theirs on if he ain't going to put his on. Well, Jason should tell me in a heartbeat. Put your seatbelt on. Right. So I, I put it on when they notice it. All right. Next question. Um. <laughs> have I ever pretended to sleep to avoid an argument with you? I don't know. That's hard because you're such a light sleeper. So, I don't know. I really don't know if you have or not. But you're such a light sleeper. 
I mean, I can just walk in the room and he wakes up. So if I'm sitting there upset with him, I know he's not when sleeping. I'm sleep, I'm sleep. Oh. You don't sleep though, like hard. I, I sleep hard like during the day. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, if I went in there and was mad at this man, he would wake up. His eyes would be this big and he would, don't lie. Don't lie. Uh, okay. Don't lie. Let's see your next question. Okay. What do you like most about me? What do I like most about you? Mm -hmm. It gets deep. Um, I like most about you. What I like most about you is how calm you are. How, he's very slow to anger. He doesn't get he doesn't get mad easy. Um, he's very quiet. Uh, yeah, so that's what I like about you is that like you're just a chill person. Like you level me out. You're not high strung. All the, you're not high strung. Even like when it's we're in tense situations, you're not. He knows that I've never seen him overreact ever. I mean, I'm saying like most of the time, like. I've seen you get mad, but not, you're very slow to anger. It takes a lot for you to get upset, basically. Okay, what's your guys? When did I first kiss you? Um, I think it was at my old house in New London. It was when the first time you kissed me when you came to my house and just, we were hanging out and stuff. I can't remember exactly when it was, but I know it has to be, it had to be then. Cause that's where everything, our relationship really started. Like our boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. We were friends before we were together. We were friends for about, from October to April or May, we were friends. And then, yeah, I think it was April, we started like. On to the next question. How many questions is that? About five? Yeah, about five questions. Okay, so, uh, all right, uh, let's see here. If I'm having a bad day, how can you cheer me up? Um, food, always. <laughs> Make a good meal, a good Southern meal. Um, number two, just love on you, kiss on you, give you attention. He's very, um, touchy. He likes, he's, has, he, he likes physical touch. That's one of his, I would say that's one of your, what is it called? When, um, love languages, physical touch is definitely his, one of his love languages. Um, so I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So, you're doing good right now. Kissing, oh, touching, and cooking. Okay. What's the, um, what's a what's a TV show that I could watch five times a week? Five times a week. Um. Anything Star Wars, like uh, what is Mandal Mandalorian? He, you were just in there watching stuff like that, science fiction. Stargate, though. <laughs> Stargate is his yeah, all-time favorite. Y'all ain't seen Stargate. Take it out. And I will say that I'm not into them types of shows. Never, my, I just never have been, but I love Stargate. Really, really cool show. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. You think you know me, huh? Let's see. I, what, what's my favorite team? Dallas. He liked them first for the girls, then it turned into love for the boys. Okay, what's this? Um, do I have any, do I have any catchphrases? Yeah. Like, uh, let me see. Oh. Sue, do you want me to answer it? Let's see if you can answer it. Let me see. God Almighty, <laughs> that's one. <laughs> Good God Almighty, that's one. And when he's playing on the game, 
Uh, he has a lot when he's playing yeah, PUBG. Uh, but just one, favorite. just yeah. one is, man, get him. Man, he's right there. I hear man, he's right there a lot. Or, um, must be talking junk. Talking junk, but that's not really catchphrases. Oh, but yeah, the, and I love you. <laughs> he says, I love you a lot, which yeah. I guess we say it a lot to each other. Alright, um, okay, that's one. Am I religious or spiritual? Um, I'd say when I first met you, you were religious. But as time went on, um, he's definitely a very spiritual person now. I think we both are very spiritual people. Uh, like I've been, I've been, what's the word, I've been awakened. To, uh, He's woke. Yeah, I'm woke. We're so, woke. Um, we know there's something bigger out there, and we know that um, if you're a good person, you're gonna have a good life. You're 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 gonna be blessed every single day. Um, we believe in God. Um, yeah. Is that okay. how much was that? Nine. Eight. Yeah, we'll go one more. All right. Oh. Um, Last one. What's my zodiac sign? Virgo. Virgo. Shout out to the Virgos. Virgo, you just had yeah, a birthday. Man. Just had a birthday a couple weeks ago. Going oh, on a, time. going on thirty eight. Thirty eight. Um. Oh yeah, he's thirty eight. I'm thirty one. We're seven years apart. Don't let the great fool you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So what? What is the craziest thing I have ever done in our relationship? The craziest thing? Yeah, craziest. I think I say it's when you drove the car off the doggone embankment. I didn't drive the car off the embankment. The road, the road was chipped into the yellow line, and it when I went over it, it like I was going straight, <laughs> and the the pavement because it was like the pavement was this high off of the road so it was like this they had it was they were doing construction stuff so then when it was chipped from where they were working on it and it grabbed my tire and, and took me off yeah. and then i jumped up jumped up whatever but yeah that was one of them you know freak accidents you know okay what is my dream or goal in life like i would say like the ultimate goal the ultimate goal Cause we've hit a lot of goals. We've hit a lot of goals. My biggest goal was to bring him home, and I did that. Oh. I retired him at thirty-seven. I'm just gotta keep it that way. Yeah. But no, I mean, I guess just you know, creating this 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 generation wealth that we're working on, you know, um, you know, making sure that the family is taken care of and being able to live and travel like we got planned, you know. And just just do all the things that we that mm -hmm. we set forth to do. Yeah. I just want my I want him and my kids to have everything they ever want in life. We only have one life. Um That's and we're means. only young once. The kids are only kids once and I want to see everything I can, and I want to do everything I can, and I want to experience everything I can, especially with the kids when they're uh, while they're here and they're little before they leave home. Because once the kids leave home, you can get them together, but they they'll make their own family. And then once they leave, you know, me and Jut, we want to just keep at it. Yeah. Um. Is there anything you think I regret about my family life? Like, I guess that could be like my, all my, like my family, yeah, my, fa my like old family. family. Yeah, my family. I mean, I know you probably wish you and your mom had a better relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's not your, you know, your, your fault or your, but anyway. Yeah. Definitely have a better relationship with my mom. I think a lot of things led to 
to our relationship not being the greatest, but if you're watching this, mom, I love you. Um, do I like to be massaged? And what is my favorite place to be massaged? <laughs> yes, you do. <clears throat> and we're going to keep that between me and you. No, she just like a little tickle, you know. I, I don't like, like massages. She like a tickle. More I like, for like a, it's called an like effleurage. A effleurage, you know. That's what it's know. called. If you guys didn't know what, like, the soft tickling. You make the goosebumps. That's jump. called effleurage in massage terms. Okay, am I a light sleeper or a deep sleeper? Man. <laughs> I can push her 10 times in the bed and she won't budge. Like, but that baby cry, she's right up. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I can literally scream her name and the, and she she won't, you know, won't do nothing. But the baby cry whine just the first second she's up on that. Like, but the moms, you guys know that. It's like your brain is on for the baby and off for everything else. And you train your brain to do that. I mean, after three kids, three babies, that's like my brain's trained. <laughs> it's so bad though, because I think I hear my baby. It's called phantom cries. Um, and that's a freaky feeling. Um, who is the first person that I text when something exciting happen exciting happens? I mean, besides me. Yeah. Well, you. What would be you? No, yeah. I mean, okay, who's the second person? Your dad, most of the time. My dad. Definitely text my dad. Okay, here's a good one. At what point did you decide to make our relationship official? I don't even know this. Oh, man. I would ask him questions like this before we got married he was like oh i'll tell you after we're married i'm not telling you before we're married and i never asked him questions like this after we married because i already had them <laughs> i mean it's still one of those you know live and learn type questions you know what i'm saying like you just i know the reason but you know it's at, at the same time it's one of those you got to show like i know that like but it's, it's okay. more of a feeling than it is a. When a but when do you when like at what point did you know you wanted to be with me? <laughs> what was that? It was like late one night, and we um we came in from the bar and uh we was tired and drunk and you know I was hungry. And um, she was she was about passed out, and uh, you know it was it was like early, real early in the relationship, like so I didn't know if she would do it or not, you know what I mean? So I was testing the waters a little bit, and uh, I asked her, I was like, let's go get something to eat or something, and she was like, she was like I can fix you something, and and I I, I named a few items, and she had them. And to my surprise, she got up and cooked them for me, like, in the middle of the morning. I mean, it wasn't breakfast time. It wasn't, you know, she got up and she fixed it. And I was like, wow, okay. So she, she's one of them. She can get up and cook, huh? <laughs> okay. And I still do it. Okay. It doesn't matter. Like, if Judd says he's hungry, I mean, it's like a mother thing, I think, because I don't want him to be hungry. And I know if... If I don't get up and fix it, like he's gonna eat a nutty buddy or a honey bun or a donut, you know what I'm saying? Cook. Nah, I'm gonna... He'll cook, but yeah. that's pretty much my job in the house is to cook, you know? Okay, um, last one. Excuse me. Describe my dream house. Picture this. I picture this big two-story, twenty-eight square, twenty-eight hundred square foot condominium. Bondominium, I'm sorry, Bondominium, sitting on like 18 acres, half a mile driveway, paved, half a mile driveway, sit back out in the country, off the side of a hill, you know, that way you got the view of, of everything around you, and, wait, that might be my view, that might be my <laughs> 
<laughs> it's both of ours. We both want the same exact house. Um, I guess I'll ask one more because I know that wasn't 10. Do I often make you angry? No, we've, we've came a long way on that part. Like, 10 years in, you know, it, it all that anger stuff goes out the window. It becomes more of a uh, let go, okay, you know what I'm saying? Just a rollover thing instead of a make me mad, you know what I mean? I will say one of the, um, the one thing that helped me and him is we both decided that we didn't want to argue and like we'll just say what we need to say and then we're done we don't i don't want to waste a whole entire day two days three days on being mad at him i can't because i love him and so you know but um my my mom as i call her pam she told me she said, once you hit the third year of marriage, it'll be the easiest thing you've ever done. And she said, you'll be best friends forever and you won't fight and whatever. And she was right. Once we hit that three, well, actually, I think it was before. Back, I think it was like around 20, the beginning of 2020 when COVID came because uh, we just had to learn to live, be with each other all the time. And seeing all these people around us pass away and lose family members and we realize that it could be one of us any day i mean it just makes you realize that you gotta cherish what you have so yeah. um but yeah so that was the wifey husband pack um mm -hmm. hope you guys enjoyed video. it very first on this channel yeah um we hope you guys liked it we're gonna just like i said before and he said we're gonna start doing Plenty of challenges and reactions and mukbangs and pranks. I already got some uh, in my vault already. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah we're going to bring the energy, guys. You know, so. Uh, and yeah. sorry, this was so. Sorry to cut you off, but sorry, this was so low. Um, all of our kids are asleep right Everybody's now. Asleep, so. Yeah. So once they're up and we can, we'll definitely bring the energy um, later on. And But I'm tired. Are you tired? I'm there. I'm tired. Um, uh, y'all guys, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and um, we'll we'll get back with y'all. And leave a comment below on what you would like to see or what you would like to know more about us. Um, right. I know we're going to probably do a, like a How We Met video, things like that, you know, the normal. But if there's anything you guys want to see or any suggestions that you have, please leave it below. We're very open to that. Um, we plan on th making this into a full-time career. And so we're excited to get to know all you guys. Yeah. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.